All right, what is going on, everyone, and welcome back to more Black Desert. My name is John, and the other day I made a video on Monster Zone AP caps. And today I wanted to talk about which cup is the best for you and which one should you get. So a lot of people who ask me for advice are generally within the like 240 to 280 AP range, or at least that's like from the questions I've gotten from people. And that's probably the range of when you should probably start looking into getting these uh, cups for your accessories. So what does it look like with uh, gear? Basically, there's the normal version and then there's like a clouded and then basically blue and yellow to make it easy. And you'll see the little glow on your accessory and uh, for earrings is only one. But what we're going to be talking about is which one is more helpful and i'm gonna try to explain what you should get if you do this so i want to first start by saying that there is no right or wrong answer of what you get it's more of a personal preference and i think that um some things are a little bit better for certain things but so let's start off with the necklace slot there's only one and you get this it's very cheap there's a lot of them they're all min priced and so if you need one um just buy it off the market because you need about what is it 100 trace of forest very easy to get 100 heart of arid forest which is the one you get a lot of by grinding elvia orcs and so chances are um uh, from my experience grinding orcs i let's see what do i have um I made a lot of them and sold them, but yeah, you can see I have like 700 plus shards after making all of mine. And so I've grinded Elvia Oryx quite a bit. And I will say you make so much silver grinding there to the point of one hour of grinding Oryx is basically more than enough to cover it. So just grind an hour and then buy it and you'll be good to go. And next, what do we have? Uh, the Cup of Lonely Cloud and a dwindling starlight so this one is for rings basically and the difference is one gives 125 hp and this one gives an extra three percent crit damage now personally from my testing i've used both of them actually if you do any sort of pvp i do believe that the extra survivability with the 150 125 times two is actually a little bit better than the extra 3% crit damage. Just because at most PvP levels, or if you are over like the 261, maybe 265 AP, and then plus the bracket and full buffs everything, generally one combo, if you like knock down and then you do your second CC, generally that's enough damage to one combo your average player that's not like a full DP. So the extra 3% is a little bit diminishing, but I do believe that it's probably better to get the yellow one for more PvE if you are strictly grinding and uh, the more damage helps you clear faster, obviously. But obviously it does help for PvP, but it's just it doesn't feel like it does as much. And so I personally, if you are a PvPer, um, then I would probably go with the survivability because that will actually help you a little bit more. And chances are, if you are at the point of you needing or are getting to upgrade your accessories, uh, you probably have over the 260 AP bracket or 261. So I personally have two HP ones. I do a lot of grinding and PVP. So I think that um, it also helps you, I guess, grind in like higher end areas though like if you're doing dekia that's not saving you like we've seen my videos of that so overall i don't think there are there's a wrong choice it's more of a pve is yellow pvp is blue but trust me when i say i've tested them both and like they're both fine but that's just my opinion of it so cup of lone tide is for the belt and the tragic nightfall is basically this is a little bit different from the um, rings. So this one gives all damage reduction plus six, and this one gives all AP plus three. 
Now, I, once again, I have the blue one because I thought the damage reduction plus six was a little bit, you know, more of a sa safer option. Now, this one is a little bit more stacked on the side of uh, the blue one because damage reduction is generally a little bit nicer for just all around, especially if you're still gearing up and you'd want to try out new grind spots. The extra 6 DR is probably pretty nice. Whereas all AP plus 3, it's not sheet AP. It's like when you go to your stats over here, and it basically just adds 3 somewhere. And so that's not that much, actually. It's basically like using, I don't know, let's say something over here. And it says, you know how plus 8 AP under the effects? It's basically that, but plus 3. So... I think I would value all damage reduction, basically the blue one, for most people, no matter what you do, whether you're a pvp -er or pve -er, just higher survivability, it has more benefits than the plus three. Um, but I can see where the plus three would be better, like, if you watched my video yesterday and we talked about monster zone AP caps and everything, if for some reason that plus three literally boosts you up into the 100% effectiveness range, then yeah, I think it'll be fine. But is it really going to help you that much? Will, will you notice it in PvP? Probably not. Like, unless you're, I don't know. I think even a 1v1 situation where you have exactly the same gear and someone's using the blue versus the yellow, I think the blue one's still better. So that's what I would choose. And, of course, the um, Cup of Earth Sorrows. This one is actually one of the ones that uh, is harder. Because this one just requires a lot of, like... Well, actually, no. It's not harder. Because everything requires 200 of some sort of color. So it is red, bl blue, and yellow. And so this one just requires you to grind all three spots. Whereas these require you to just grind a hundred of two spots. And then this one is a mix of all three. So that's why it's higher on the scale. And I there's only one choice. Basically, it gives you plus three AP for your earrings. And I have three of them. And yeah, so that's about it. Um, so once again, we talked about a lot of this in my old grind videos. And I just wanted to cover it again and just talk about the Elvias real quick. So just in case you are new and you're wondering, okay, so I w I'm at the point where I want to grind this now. So let's talk about this. Um, where Let's sort by Serendia. Okay, so if you're grinding for the red shards, uh, Elvia Orcs is the place to be because not only is this very good silver an hour, it's good XP an hour. So if you're trying to level... And it's, you know, just generally overall the best place to be for XP, silver. And you do get a lot of shards. So I think the other option would be Castle Ruins. But that place, one, it's a party of three, which is kind of an annoying thing to find two other people that will grind the same amount of time and everything with you. Plus the silver an hour is not as worth it. Uh, I do believe I have a video of me trying it and just... I don't know. It's, it's better to just grind solo and you just make more anyway. Um, if you're going for the blue one, I I think the blue one is Fogans. Basically, I went... Um, so this is the Marnie Realm, the Northern Swamp, I believe. And then, so you just do the bi a big loop around here in the Northern Swamp. And this is the Marnie Realm as well. So if you just want to grind in peace, that's cool. I don't think there are pe many people grinding there anyway so you'll be fine regardless but i just wanted to tell you where it was just do a big loop over there um i do believe another spot like outside of marnie realm was around here down by the swamp fogans and this one is probably a bigger rotation so if you're a faster clear speed class this one's this spot's probably better for you but for your you know like casual player doing the marnie realm around here is probably just fine and um uh, or camp obviously is over here you know they actually like this is off topic but they 
are making a change in the near future where if you remove your node level or like you know how if you remove the node you lose the level now if you remove the node you can keep the level well that's coming in the future and man i had a level 20 orc node when i was grinding there but eh, i removed it and then yeah so like you see how this is 12 i used to grind there back in the day and then for the yellow shards i personally do bloody monastery the elvia version down here and where is it bloody monastery so i have videos of this if you guys want to see the rotation of that but i do personally like grinding bloody monastery more because it's more silver an hour plus you get the bells which could potentially be more and then the split nails which turns into a lunar necklace which is the accuracy necklace those are worth a lot so if you're looking for silver along with your drain night shards uh bloody monastery is the place to be but i believe that if you are going for just straight up shards the brigadi den is a lot uh, better for that you'll get a lot more of them but you get a lot less silver an hour and so it also has a lower ap requirement but um yeah if you just want i would personally recommend grinding the most amount of silver along with it just because chances are you're going to be there for a while anyway. And um, you might as well just try to get some other gear upgrades on the way. So grinding for silver and getting these shards on the side is definitely a bonus. So my top three picks were Fogans, uh, Orc Camp, and Bloody Monastery for all three colors. So yellow here, Orc Camp for red, and Fogans for blue. And yeah, that's about it. So hopefully that helped. The reason why we wanted to, I wanted to talk about this today is because they actually raised the price of this. And now that they raised the price, they actually start sitting on the market now. And I believe the hard cap is $5 billion, but looking at the prices now, I don't think it's going up to $5 billion. And so, yeah, if you are grinding, is it worth selling these? Um, quite honestly... I think if you already had extras from back in the day and you're just trying to sell them, it's good. But is it worth grinding just to make them and sell them? Uh, I'm not really too sure because, like, if you are above the 280 bracket and you can grind, like, I don't know, Gyphon or Hex or something, chances are you'll make more silver there doing something else. But if you are, like, within the two... 60 to 280 ap range this might be nice but i'm not too sure i haven't really been here in a while so yeah just wanted to talk to you guys about this now that you can actually buy them before the max price is 2 billion and there are like so many orders now that it went up by like another billion people are making some extra cash and i thought it was good so would i recommend buying it or grinding for it uh just buying it to be honest because you can grind three hours or you can probably grind like 15 hours trying to make it yourself but back in the day there was no choice you grinded them and yeah so now that this is an option i think that's good and that's all i really wanted to talk about today i just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it be sure to drop a quick like on the video and we have about two more days left on our support a creator uh event so if you are thinking about buying any a coins for the pe in the next two days use my code john law it's not case sensitive and i get a small portion of what you spend on it and i just want to say thank you guys for supporting me throughout the entire month and helping with the code it really does mean a lot and yeah i do appreciate it so with that said thanks so much for watching i'll see you guys next time peace